It's uh, great to welcome to our couch right now, a gentleman who's uh, he's got an interesting job, and uh, he is the chief of the aviation police out at the airport, uh, which is very different from APD. Marshall Katz is with us today. Chief Katz, how are you? How are you, Larry? Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, for being here. My pleasure. <laughs> Let's draw the distinction. What's different? between the patch on your arm says Albuquerque Aviation Police. What's different between you and APD? Well, my, my career started at APD yes. for 20 years. The airport police, their function is to maintain integrity at the airport. We actually enforce both city and county ordinance, state statute, and federal law. Wow. And Discovered so we have all. county commissions as well as federal commissions and, of course, the city commission. How many officers do you have? Around 50. I didn't realize it was that big. 50. Well, here's a, here's a question for both of you. Uh -huh. In Albuquerque, the question is, how many people do we service pastors in a given year? Any, I any like guess? trivia like that. Oh. How many, uh, how about uh, 900,000? More than 5 million. Oh. Wow. That's staggering. Well, and some of the things we've learned from 5 million customers is that carry-on bags is a perfect example for a tip. Mm -hmm. Everything you own, whether it's carry-on or check luggage, you have an ID on the outside and the inside. People forget bags on the plane every single day. We cannot identify who they are. Right. So if the, if the outside bag tag somehow gets ripped off, there's one inside, mm -hmm. we can still track you down. That's a tip I didn't know. I, um, I never thought of that. They give me a cup of water, which I appreciate. <laughs> yeah. You can, in most airports, take an empty container water container, metal or plastic, put it in a separate bin at the checkpoint, they verify it's empty, fill it for free at a water fountain. Oh, see, I don't, I, know. I always bring, like, I always accidentally bring full, unopened thing, they're like, right. sorry, you need to throw it, I'm like, no, and, yeah. but now that's good to know. I would also tell people to book flights early. If you came within that one day period, get a seat assignment. Mm. and get there early at the airport. In Albuquerque, an hour and a half is more than enough time to fly either internationally or domestically. Now I see your officers kind of behind the TSA checkpoint there at the airport and you, you're there kind of to back them up, but you're not the TSA. Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> draw the distinction. The TSA has civil remedies, but they don't enforce criminal law. If a criminal act happens at the checkpoint, they'll call us, we're in charge, we'll take care of it, along with other agencies like, like the FBI. But you don't have anything to do with the bags, if there's something in the bags, or do, is there a line that if that crosses, then you come in? If the bag has, let's say, a gun in it, uh -huh. yeah, that's not properly put through certain channels. We get involved with the uh, criminal violation. Okay. I see. Or drugs, right. or other prohibited items that may be beyond the scope of TSA specifically. So you're just the law enforcement guys. Now, the perimeter of the airport itself, and that's a big old piece of property. You have not only the civilian airport, but you've got the Air Force Base. How does that integrate? With a red line. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cross it. Is when you right? do, they'll meet you with AR-15s. Really? Or M-16s in their case, right? Wow. But you are responsible for the perimeter area as well, aren't you? Yes, the roadways, the belly freight, FedEx, UPS, a rental car facility, hotels, yeah. restaurants, et cetera, et cetera, yes. And have things become a little bit more relaxed since 9-11? I know a month after 9-11 happened, um, you know, it's been many years, but it used to be very strict about parking in front of the airport or, you know, when you leave, you're letting people out to go get on their flight, people would park and you'd get yelled at. So how does that, is it changed a lot? Well, they shouldn't yell at you, number one. <laughs> but technically, stopping at the curbside is for active loading or unloading. Mm -hmm. Now, as my daughter would put it, some people stretch the boundaries of socially acceptable behavior by leaving your car and going in to get a ticket. Yeah. That really is prohibited by law. Right. You shouldn't do that. But it happens on a regular basis, unfortunately.